You are listening to the Heritage Cast Bootcast? Bootery Cast? Leatherworks Cast? Heritage Boots Podcast? Something like that. My name is Brad. I am going to take you on an adventure. So, I have traumatic brain injury. I have a spinal cord injury. I need the most juiciest, most bootylicious, amazing boots possible. Do my little research, find Roseanville, find Carl M. Cool Polish last name guy um, on YouTube. Sorry, Carl, I can't pronounce your name. Uh, you, please change it. Um, <laughs> please change it like the Carl cast. There we go. Um, so I go on my adventure. I get my boots. Super excited. Take them out. Looking at the boots. Looks pretty good. Start looking around. See the welt. Okay, the welt looks kind of strange. Uh, it's kind of separated a little bit. Okay, whatever. Start looking a little bit. Look at the, the midsole. The piece right under the, the welt where the boot is actually attached to. Look at it. There's a scratch here, okay? Maybe it's just not a scratch. I'm looking at it more. I'm like, hey, what's going on here? Bend it a little bit. The whole thing is cracked. Just order a second one. Didn't think anything of it. Order a second version. Get them in. Literally the same thing. So then I start doing all this research, investigation. Looking around, okay, what is what is this thing? What's a midsole? What is it made out of? Roch Roseanville's uh, video four or five times to kind of grasp what he's talking about. Figure, oh, this is a synthetic, not only a synthetic welt, but a synthetic midsole. Now, there's probably other ways to make this where you can make them synthetically and they will actually last. I don't know. I'm not a boot guy. I'm just a guy who wants good boots. Looking at it, totally jacked up. Not what I want. Or the third pair. <laughs> the third pair is cracked. <laughs> Order my fourth pair. Fourth pair. So, I end up going to my cobbler and I say, hey, Mr. Tom, who didn't happen to be Tom, it's dad. What can I do? Oh yeah, totally easy. All we'll have to do, rip off the bottom, slap a new uh, midsole on there, leather, rubber, whichever you want. We'll slap it on there, welt it up good and, good and tight, you'll be on your way. So I am waiting for my fourth pair, or fifth, something like that, of Thoroughgood 1957s. Um, the Uplander version. Obviously the Mach Toe would, would be okay. I just, I didn't necessarily want the Mach Toe um, starting out. I wanted something with a, with a heel to start out to try to get my, my feet wet uh, in, the, in the boot world. Although I'm not sponsored by this, uh, I'm drinking the All-American Terre Haute Brewing Company Porter Street Pre-Prohibitions Porter. This is fantastic. It says, the Pre-Prohibition Porter was a style originally brewed in Philadelphia during the Revolutionary Period. Famously endorsed by George Washington. I don't want to be endorsed by George Washington, because that's sweet. Um, it was brewed using corn, six-row barley, and the dark color came from molasses. Step back in time and enjoy a modern take on vintage... Holy shit, on vintage style, there we go. That's what this whole thing's about. Vintage style, but the point of this is function. And my whole entire mission, now that I've gone on this journey, and I'm taking you along, is I am going to create the most juiciest, most bouncy, the most comfortable, and key thing here is, this is for function, no break-in. I'm sorry Pacific Northwest, fancy pants, boot people, and your cool lawyer jobs that you quit, start shops, <laughs> t show and other people who are fancy pants people. Um, sorry, but I'm not breaking in boots, okay? My feet are all jacked up from the war. Back in Nam. Okay, not actually Vietnam. I was in two wars. Iraq and Afghanistan. But in any case. Uh, back in Nam. Uh, so I'm not breaking in any boots. It's not happening. I'm sorry. But the whole goal of this is to take it off the shelf. Red Wing, Thoroughgood, Danner. 
take the boot, rip the bottom off, put a new bottom on, and upgrade it with a fucking counter. How this doesn't happen, I don't know. I'm not sure why Wicket and whatnot, or Horween, or Name Your Leather Company doesn't have, hey, we're taking the scrap leather. This is the crap leather that no one wants. This is the bug bite leather. We're taking the bug bite leather and giving it to all the boot companies. So everybody has bug bite leather to put in the back of your boots and call it bug bite leather company or something. I don't know. And you put it in the back and it's a counter for every boot that gets on someone's feet. What the hell? When I found out about this and I'm looking at all these different things like, oh, you know, uh, Roseanne was talking about this. Oh, you know, the, uh, the fact that these thorough goods, these other things with, with liners don't have a counter. What? Why not? It doesn't make any sense. Put it in the back of there. This cannot possibly cost money. I mean, you're already making it. You already have to have a stitch. You add some stupid glue, boom, the counter goes back, then you're done. I mean, I just don't understand. It's just like, and it, it, it most likely is free. I, I can't imagine it could possibly cost money to have scrap leather. Because it doesn't even need to be like a specific shape. You could just say, okay, we're the scrap leather bug company. <laughs> we're putting scrap leather on the back of everybody's boots. Done. <laughs> like, make it a nonprofit. I don't know, do something. Like, I can't be the only person who has thought of this. Okay, maybe I am. Maybe I'm that crazy. I don't know. This porter is legit. I'm telling you what. Part of this, so I found out that my cobbler, his dad is 93 years old. He is not only a cobbler, but a shoemaker. And his grandfather, or his father, came from Italy and was a shoemaker there. And we were kind of discussing how I've listened to um, some of those, uh, Mr. Ryder and some other famous people in the, in the industry, talking about cobblers and shoemakers and the fact that, well, we only have a certain amount of actual shoemakers in the country, let alone the cobblers went from 6,000 to 3,000, is my understanding, over the year 2020 and the whole um, stuff that happened <laughs> during that time period. Um, and because of that, we don't really have any cobblers that are available to even upgrade your boots, let alone any of the advanced stuff that actually has to happen. And then beyond that, any of the shoemaking side of things. So, I mean, what? Are you going to, I guess, go to Thoroughgood and get your Indonesian, uh, Vietnamese, American boots that are proudly made in America? Proud to be America plays in the background. Um, I guess. I mean, sure. Um, the least that they could do, and I, so I, what ended up happening through this journey is that I contacted um, the global sourcing manager um, of a uh, of Thoroughgood. His name is Matt, and uh, I told Matt, "Here's my situation: one, Thoroughgood's paying for my resole because well, after four of them, just in spite <coughs> of Thoroughgood, one, I just expect you to back up your name." And then two, I expect you to back up the name of the shoemakers. And then three, I directly told them this, I expect you to revamp your stuff. Le veg tan leather midsoles can't possibly cost that much money for thorough goods. That's just not how that works. You're going to buy this at scale, so it's, it's going to equal out eventually. There's, and even if it did cost 75 extra bucks, people will pay the extra 75 extra bucks to have a good midsole. That's just what will happen. Okay, if you need to have your, your garbage line, well, you have your garbage line or your your less good line, and you can have your bespoke line, and have your bespoke American Heritage whatever thing, and partner with someone, and the veg tan leather. I mean, what, you're selling, I don't know, max 100,000? Okay, get 100,000 pieces of veg tan leather. Just do it. I, I, I can't be the only person who's ever said this. I, I cannot possibly imagine this is like just me coming up with ideas. There's just no way. And for a 289 or so boot, Hey, make it 305. I don't know. Do something. Like, but me having to come up with ideas is just a bad idea. Shouldn't be me. It should be someone else. So, this has been the Heritage Cast Bootcast Bootcastery Podcast. 
something like that. Leatherworks podcast, something. It's gonna it's gonna change, and I may change the name whenever I feel like it because that's what I do. And uh, I think my next beer is we are the we're all a little nuts out here, which is from the Monocle Brewery. Chocolate peanut butter stout. Sounds like a lot of fun. I've never actually had this before. Sounds pretty good. Thank you for tuning in to the Heritage Cast, Bootcast, Bootcast Free Podcast of Journey, Journey Podcast of Heritage, Vintage Heritage Podcast of the Bootery. Bootery Podcast of Heritage? Something like that. You guys have a fantastic